Hello and welcome to Real Illusion Hints and Tips. DAS to 3D Exchange to iClone Tutorial. Importing and exporting DAS content into 3D Exchange for use in iClone. The iClone real-time production environment can be used along with other modeling tools like DAS Studio to populate props, scenes, and accessory libraries. DAS is a free download and provides tools to create people, animals, vehicles, buildings, props, accessories, plus much more. DAS Studio has the ability to export 3D scenes as OBJ files which can easily be converted into iClone BNS format with Realusion 3D Exchange. The exported OBJ file contains still meshes only. No animation data will carry over. Only a snapshot of the first frame. In this tutorial, you will see how to view an imported DAS scene, export to 3D Exchange, and then bring the DAS content into iClone for saving into your custom prop library. So let's go ahead and get started now. Step number one, open DAS Studio and then go to the Content tab. Open and select the Content folder and then find the Figures folder. Double click to add your content in scene after you see the thumbnail appear below. Step number two, you will need to use three of the camera tools found in DAS to position the camera to get a full view of your model. First, use the Rotate Camera tool from the top of your tools section left click and drag to rotate the camera around the object right click and drag to rotate the camera in place step number three you need to use the second of the three camera tools found in DAS to position the camera to get a full view of your model you can use the pan camera tool left click and drag to pan the camera right click and drag to dolly the camera in place Step number four. Finally, you need to use the third of the three camera tools found in DAS to position the camera to get a full view of your model. Use the zoom camera tool, left click and drag to move the camera closer or farther from the subject, right click and drag to change the focal length of the camera. Now you're ready to export your content. Step number five to export your content, go to File export choose a folder to save your file name your file and be sure to select the wavefront obj format then choose the save button step number six after selecting save set the basic tab options check the do not export invisible nodes box and check on the weld figures box as well this is an important step in the export process. Step number seven. In the advanced tab, check on the right UV coordinates checkbox, the right normals checkbox, the right groups checkbox, and then use figure names sub bullet. Check on the right surfaces checkbox, and then check on the Write Material Library checkbox and the Collect Maps sub-bullet. After all these have been checked to the on position, then select the Accept button. Step number eight. Open iClone 3D Exchange and go to File, Open, and then navigate to the folder where you have the DAS OBJ file saved. Click open to import the content into scene. Step number nine, use the align to center and the align to ground buttons to center your new prop and align it to the ground. Then use the rotate button to view your new model. If it's okay, then prepare to export. Step number 10, to export your content to iClone, go to file, export, then name your file Select the Props bullet, then choose OK to successfully export your new file into iClone. Step number 11, open iClone and then go to Scene, Props, Custom tab, and then scroll down to find your DAS content file. Double click to apply to your scene 
Then use the scale tool to view your content in the viewport. Using DAS Studio along with 3D Exchange and iClone creates a pipeline for you to filter content built by users worldwide directly into your custom iClone libraries. This makes it easy for anyone to quickly develop high quality virtual environments for their iClone projects, giving users the ability to showcase their stories in style. For more information, please visit www.realusion.com or contact technical support.